Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We're across the pond in England this week, and two teams are hoping to show up for an international audience. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 8 matchup. Lions and Falcons coming up on EA Sports. Getting ready now for Week 8 action. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims. Do we have a little upset special coming your way today? One team's unbeaten. Well, I'm not going to predict, but I'll say this. When you get to Week 10 and you're undefeated, you get more press around you, more people are asking you questions. Hey, can you go undefeated this year? Nobody's done it since the Dolphins, so you get distractions. Can you deal with it? We'll find out if it's been a problem for the undefeated team. And Devin Hester will be back deep for the opening kickoff. And Sam Martin is set now to kick it away. Sometimes what time of possession really means in an NFL game. But I know this, when you run the football like that and you pick up decent yards, that's a good thing for the offensive side and a great thing for your football team. Matt Ryan under center. Falcon snapping at the 31. They'll run it off the toss. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. When a coach can have a run, it picks up those kind of yards. It gives them confidence, and they will show more and more patience with the running game. So the defense, they better dig in here. Matt Ryan from the shotgun. Getting away from the pressure. Reaches out and snatches it. Early in this game, Phil, and already on the other side of the midfield strike. Nice job by the offense here. Good play calling too, Jim. Mixing up the plays. The defense is off guard right now, and the offense is taking advantage of it. Ryan gives it up. Jackson's marked down after a gain of four. Here's our look at the Falcons' offense. A lot of people thought coming into the year this would be one of the best rushing attacks in the league, but it's been very average to date. Second down and seven. And now Ryan's going to take off. He's got the catch. Good piece of tackling. So many times we see quarterbacks get in this position. They get out of trouble, but they're so terrible throwing the football on the run, they can't take advantage of the fact that they got out of trouble. Not this time. Good throw on the run. the Lions defense they have been shredded week after week against the run they've had almost no chance second down and five Lions running away from the pressure Roddy White makes the reception when you play a cover three defense you protect against the deep pass but the problem is all the underneath stuff is wide open and the quarterback is taking advantage of that. First and goal from the nine. Hand off. And he's brought to the ground. 
nothing too exciting here. Just plowing ahead, getting closer to that goal line. Well, they're trying to find out if this defense has the courage and toughness to stand up to them. So far, they haven't. This defense, they better pick it up if they think they're going to stop this offense. Has it. Touchdown. get close to the goal line you always have to look out for the tight end because anytime there's a, just a little bit of deception that deception is enough for the tight end to get that area where he can get open that time he does it touchdown the Falcons for the extra point extra point that's good Falcons getting ready to kick it off. Stafford will lead his offense back onto the field here as this goes for a touchback. Here's the man who leads the Lions high octane attack quarterback Matthew Stafford. I think there's no doubt. We all look at Matthew Stafford. We can see the talent that he has. Now he has to take that talent and find a way to win more football games as a starting quarterback of the Detroit Lions. First and ten. Gets the handle here. Bush is met after a gain of three. And now let's take a look at the Lions offense, starting with the offensive line that knows how to look after its quarterback. They have not only protected him, they have freed him to lead this team down the field with a dangerous passing attack. The Lions take it from the 23, and Bush is stopped there. And here's the Falcons' defense. They are all around perhaps the best defensive unit in the entire league. It's Bush in the backfield. The Lions will take the snap from the 25. Sticks to his hands. That picks up 11. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you've got that defense guessing. First down here after the completion. Bush is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Stafford with the give. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Bumble. On his way. The 10, taking it all the way home for the touchdown. What a deflating play for the offense. The defense picks up the fumble, takes it not only for a touchdown, but how long. Look at the blocks. That makes the offense lose its confidence. They're going to have a hard time coming back out on the field and making it happen. He made it. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. And he'll start his return. And he fails to get out to the 20. Smack down at the 15-yard line. The Lions offense now coming out. Bush is lined up as the single back. First down at the 15. The give. And a gain of four. Second down. 
Matthew Stafford backed off the line. Shotgun formation from the gun. Stafford sends it to Pettigrew. And Pettigrew's tackled down at the 22. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. And Pettigrew set now. Split out wide to the left. Ball's picked up. He's brought down. Weatherspoon, such an impressive athlete. We know he can tackle and stop the run game. But how about that in the pass game? Defending the pass and picking it off. Good job. Jones in the slot. Scrambling out of the pocket. He's got some daylight. Games 19. On defense nowadays, I don't care who's back there as a quarterback. You must be aware and not let them out of the pocket. Any quarterback in the NFL now can scramble out there and pick up some yards. Good job that time with the QB, and he gets the first down. And that picks up three. It's getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. And he's in. Jim, I think he's one of the top ten running backs in the NFL, and he proves it because he just knows how to get in the end zone. That time, he's physical, gets that extra little, little yardage that you need, and gets into the end zone. Add the extra point, the kick is good. The Falcons' defense certainly contributing to the cause here today, and that interception was good enough to lead the offense out for a short field and a score. Tate's going to start his return. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Lions getting set now for their next series. Stafford's going to be in the pistol here. First and 10. Play action. Stafford. Golden Tate makes the catch. Plenty of zip on that throw. Well, I think we've heard this expression about 7,000 times. It's a passing league, so we all know that. So you got to be able to throw the football and pick up some first downs. The Falcons defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. First down on the way. Bell is in the backfield. Should have had it. When you see a receiver drop a pass, the, it does go through the quarterback's mind. Well, he's a good player, and I want to keep his confidence level up, and I want to keep him into the game. So when you get a chance, you throw him another football so he can make that catch and get right back in with him. Catch made, and they knock him down just a yard away from the first. They hurry to the line of scrimmage. Stafford from the gun. The defense gets a sack. Really good job by the defensive coordinator. Good time to call that blitz. Catches the offense by a surprise, and they just outnumber him, and they get to the quarterback, and they take him down. That ball was never cleanly caught, and it's on the ground. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? The return team, they don't block anybody, but very fortunate to recover their own fumble. 
Jackson's lined up in a single back formation. Right side, and Sue in on the tackle. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Steven Jackson lined up in the backfield. Throw to the left. Jones has got the catch and the first. Falcons are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Matt Ryan under center, looking to go up top again on first down. White's got it, first down. This next play will be run from inside the 20. And a week ago, they were sensational inside the red zone. First and goal. Throws the pass to Jones. Jones is tackled down after a gain of seven. The Falcons call a timeout here. They have zero timeouts remaining. Second down coming up. Jackson's delayed start. Now taken off on the draw play. Nothing there as this goes for a loss of two. That's the end of the first half. And you've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. will be sending this one towards the end zone to get the second half started. Tate's going to test the coverage this time. Keeps his legs moving. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Lions now will start their drive at the 23. First down at the 23. Throws to the right. Good coverage by Trufant that time as the pass goes incomplete. Well, that pass is incomplete, Jim, but that's just a terrible job by the quarterback. When they're running the slant route, just throw it right at the stump. Failing to complete that one. So, second down here. Stafford set. Empty backfield. Ball is out. They recover their own fumble. Jackson's in on the tackle. One thing coaches hate when their offense is on the field is fumbling the football. Because a lot of times, it's just bad fundamentals. But they're lucky this time. They have the fumble. They're able to get on top of it. He has the grab. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long. They can do just about anything, and it's going to work. And they stop the offense that time. Hester's going to try and return this punt. Brought down after a gain of six. <laughs> 
They face first down. Offense lines up here. First down at the 34. Ryan's got the football after the play fake. And Quinn with a near takeaway on that pass. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. Falcons have it at the 34. Play fake. He's scrambling down. On target. Well, it's professional football. I don't want to hear anything about running up the score, rubbing it in. Your job is to stop the other team. It's not the coach who has the lead. So get out there and get it done. And if you won't, hey, they'll just keep on scoring. It's good. The Lions have let this one get away from them today. Need to try and turn things around in a hurry. The score's 28-0. to zero. He's put the ball on the tee, and he's about to kick off. No return here. This will be coming out to the 20. They come to the line, and it's first down. Stafford has everybody split out wide for this snap. He'll stand back beyond the center in the gun. Stafford over to Johnson. When you play zone in the NFL, what you're trying to do is make the quarterback Hold the football just for a half a second longer, and you hope the pass rush can get there. They don't that time. That's why he got the completion. Underneath, but can't find a mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. The pass play fails to work, and now it's third down. Ebron's the receiver sent out wide to the left. Matthew Stafford from the shotgun. Got the completion. Ball is out. True box there to make the tackle. That's a face mask call. And, of course, for now on, it's 15 yards no matter how you slice it. They don't even have to interpret it anymore. The severity of it, it's a big penalty. Yeah, it is a big penalty. Uh, you know, one thing, you know why we see a lot of face mask penalties in the NFL now? It's because players tackle too high. Get your arms around the waist. Go down low to make those tackles, and you wouldn't get those face mask penalties. Bush is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Good yardage picked up on that ball. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. The Lions snap it at the 26. That picks up seven. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play that deceives the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. It's second down and three. Incomplete as that ball sails out of bounds. It's third down coming up. Matthew Stafford will be under center. Bell's taking the handoff. And that's a gain of time. All you can do is your job. And that was a good job by the offense. Picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. Hey, don't worry about the score right now. Just find ways to execute plays and get down there and score a touchdown. The tackle was made. 
Some of the best players on the field are outside linebackers. They can rush the passer. And how about this play this time against the outside run? Shows power, strength, and athletic ability. Gets in there and stops that play for no gain. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Left side. And Weatherspoon in on the tackle. Offside. Defense. He was trying to get an early jump on the play, but the referee caught him in the neutral zone. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Runs it across for the touchdown. touchdown. Now that's a terrific job getting that touchdown there. And what you've done, you've closed the gap. Keep chipping away at that lead. Make the opponent keep playing. See if he gets tight. If he gets tight, you got a better chance. The Lions with the PAT to come. Driving extra point is good. Lions set to kick it. There's a yellow marker down on the field. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. The kick goes out of bounds, and that's why the flag came out. Everything was lined up to make this work, and what do you do? You kick it out of bounds. Just a mistake you can't make. Matt Ryan under center. Now first and ten. Almost intercepted. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted and the guy dropped it. You just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? The Falcons will take the snap from the 40. Scrambling now. Makes the catch in open space. Tackles made. The Falcons have to be thrilled to have one of their best weapons back in the swing of things. Jones is in the midst of a huge performance, and that's after a game in which he struggled. When you watch him play like this, you can just see how determined he is out there on the football field. Everything is working for him so far today. They go to the right side, and he's tackled some three yards away from a first down. That leads us to second down. They load it up now. Bring out the jumbo formation. Out to the left. On the money. And this won't even get back to the line. They'll end up losing one. Third down play coming up. And last week that was not an issue as they converted time and time again. Third and four. Takes off with it. He's looking to the right here on this throw. First down here. First down following the long play. Jackson wins the one who brings him to the ground. Falcons lead right now, but you will see that not everything is going their way. Jackson's had a tough one, especially down the stretch. If they want to control the game, you have to think they're going to go back to him for some more touches and try to get it right. That's right. Keep giving him the football. Keep mixing the plays up. Don't get obvious in your play calls. If you do, the defense will have everything on their side. Number two. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. The defense is ready to plug up the middle. And he's across for the touchdown.
fullback gets the touchdown. So many things they do are underappreciated. Blocking for the running back, protecting the quarterback, but nothing like scoring a touchdown. The Falcons for the extra point. The point after is good. Ryan's going to look on now from the sidelines. That last drive, he contributed more than 50 yards in the air. Falcons getting ready to kick it off. He'll have a chance to take off. And the tackle is made right around the 32-yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. The defense comes out in the dime. Stafford in shotgun formation. Looking across the middle. Looks but can't connect on the short throw. Second down after the incompletion. It's Bush in the backfield. Gets it out for the completion. And tackled down at the 49-yard line. Well, that'll make you feel a little better finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half, and you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. First down and 10. He makes the catch. Taken down at the 33. Well, you're really in a tough spot, but that is a good job picking up the first down. You're down big in the second half. All you can do, just keep picking up those first downs. You hope it leads you to a score, and then you play the game from there. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. The Lions take it from the 33. Has to extend for that one, and he's got it. And now we reach the two-minute warning. Second down coming up. They come out in the dime package. They'll go shotgun here. He'll throw it over the middle. And, but the hit knocks the ball out. I thought that was going to be a completion that time. But the hit knocked the ball out. Well, let me say this about your thought. You were wrong. Once again, Jim Nance. And the timing was wonderful. That's what it is. That's what it takes. Just like you and your job. It's all about timing. Good timing by the defender that time. Looking to the right side and throwing. He's going to be tackled right around the 21-yard line. Holding on to the timeout. They'll rush back to the line. Throws to the right. And that's Trufant who almost had the interception. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes. But they dropped the pass. Stafford set in the pistol. Second and ten. Detroit in the end zone. Touchdown, 
I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Fooled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. The Lions now will tack on the extra point. Extra point is good. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. He's taken down at the 42. The Falcons come out for the next possession. Jackson's lined up directly behind the quarterback here. Gains 11. I think the coach on the sidelines, he's going to be happy with every first down because he knows that's more time off the clock. When you're up like this, multiple scores in the second half, every first down just puts the odds in your favor of winning this game. Going for the home run, and Quinn with a near takeaway on that pass. And here we have second down. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. And he takes off, and he's thrown to the ground. Jim, you can't tell the difference between the quarterback and the center. They're both retreating about as fast as you can go. That time the center gets run over, and it leads to a sack of the QB. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Third and forever. Running away from the pressure. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. the Falcons signal for the timeout and that's the first one they've used Bryant's lining up for the field goal he's a perfect six for six on the season the kick is good the kick is good from downtown. Another win here today, and we're starting to think maybe we could talk undefeated season. I know it sounds crazy. Yeah, well, it is crazy, and the pressure truly does build uh, against undefeated teams. But that is a pressure that you like, and I say it to you all the time. Athletes love it when you look at them. Well, we're going to look at them, at them now. Let's see if they can go undefeated.